It's funny how patterns feed back in on themselves again and again in your life. It's like there's a lesson you're supposed to learn and it keeps coming at you from a different angle or <laughs> wearing a different costume. And uh, I, I noticed this pattern over and over, this take time to make time pattern. Meaning like if you're feeling burnt out, you need to rest for a few days and then you come back to whatever you're doing and you have renewed energy and focus and it turns out that your work day was like 110% productive because you took time to rest first. Take time to make time. And I've noticed that in so many different areas of life. Um, think about it in your, in your marriage, in your relationship, with any relationship. It can be friendly or it can be uh, romantic. It doesn't matter. Um, in my example, it has to do with date nights with my wife. So kids are in bed, we're finishing up chores, and it's late. It's late. We're both exhausted. There's plenty of things we could do. The, in this particular case, the date night isn't a go out date night. It's a stay indoors. You know, we, we have some games that we play. There's these little date boxes she got that are actually really cool. Um, but it's after 9 p.m. <laughs> you know, it's, it, we've had a long day. We've both been working. We just finished up, like I said, the chores. And we're not there emotionally, mentally. We're going to just check out and watch TV for a date. And that's not energizing for her I'm not so opposed to watching a movie I like movies but sitting there next to me watching a movie doesn't really do it for her date night wise so we usually just go to bed and you might look at that and go oh I've, are you working on the relationship couldn't that cause problems are you is there a divide that's growing that's not really fostering romance like, yeah kind of but what we found is you don't want to force it. Every time you try to force it, like we're going to force ourselves to be here and we're happy and energetic and just in it, it doesn't work. You get frustrated. That All that forced energy actually turns into frustration and anger. You might even snap at each other. It might turn into an argument. One of you, okay, one of you is going to feel insecure and you're like, what's wrong? Why, we're having a good time. Why aren't you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out the other person is just tired. They're just spent after the day. And you're asking them to like put in 110% into something that they can't give 110% at right now. Don't force it. And that's the way we phrase it. Like, don't force it. And it, it's the same thing as the take time to make time thing. Right then, that night. 9.30 p.m., long day beforehand, now it's date night, you know what you should do? You should go to bed. You should go to bed. You should reschedule what you're doing for the next night or the next date night. God forbid it's in a few days, but you should just go to bed and rest. And the funniest part of that is you take the pressure off of the date night, you go lay down, you're both reading a book, you end up talking about what you're reading anyway. Because, you know, you, we like to read a little bit as we're falling asleep. And it turns out that, that taking the pressure off it and putting it off to a later date and just deciding we're going to go to sleep, we're doing the same thing. We're taking time to make time and everything turns out okay. That next date night is 100%. You, you have so much pent up romantic energy. You know, you just want to spend time with your loved one in our case, right? And so you, you give it your all when that comes back around. You know that like tonight, after I get off work, I am going to give them 100% focus. And so, you know, maybe you don't give 110% at work. Maybe, you know, during the day, uh, if you stay at home in whatever regard, you're getting as many chores done as possible. So once the kids are in bed, you're actually focused on date night with your, with your spouse. Uh, and that's really worked out for us in that regard. And... I tell you all these stories, these anecdotes, because I'm noticing this same pattern in my professional life, in, um, in the website I'm building, right? Like, if I'm too tired, I can't get enough done, and then I'm frustrated, and I beat myself up for not getting enough done, and then it's just like this regressive cycle of self-destruction because I'm forcing it, because you're supposed to be here working on this thing at this time. Sure, sure. But maybe I'm not able to just like code my face off. 
maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do at this time. Maybe I'm supposed to set up different infrastructure things, whether that be uh, literally on the cloud or working on um, different business documents you got to set up or it doesn't it doesn't matter what it is something less mentally intensive so that you're still meeting the discipline deadline of like this is work time but you're not burning yourself out just trying to be the next mark zuckerberg making whatever it is you're making right and so i've noticed it in that regard building stuff but uh but also with youtube right this week was crazy this week was work was super busy i was doing stuff like I just described, uh, family has been very demanding. Uh, my wife is very tired right now. Uh, we're expecting a third kid, so she's, she's sleepy in that phase of the pregnancy. And that's fine. That's where she's at. So she needs to take a nap, and I need to take on the kids. Okay, but I'm also juggling work right now. <laughs> and my lunch break only goes so long. So... I'm sitting there copy-pasting something into a report and uh, reminding the kids to play with some Legos that are over here on the ground and hoping that there's not a meeting that day. You know what I mean? Like you're juggling a lot of things. And this week was just that. It was juggling a lot of things. And so I get to a place where it's quiet. There's no kids around. Well, now I've got to pour a little extra energy into the job because I'm trying to do my work and abide by their rules because, you know, I need the paycheck. Uh, and maybe in the evening I'm working on my own thing, but I'm spent from the kids and from the job and every the, the chores that I mentioned, right? And I realized, like, I didn't make a YouTube video. Or when the time during the day to make a YouTube video comes around, my brain is not there there's no like there's no more steam coming out of the engine it's it's like okay look at the list of topics that you wrote down so you can make a video about it you know that'll be good and then you you stare at a list of topics and you go i i don't even know why i wrote that i don't even know what that thing even means anymore or you do <laughs> you're like that's a terrible video I, i'm not gonna make that or or the energy just isn't there you need to talk about something that you're really passionate about and the energy just isn't there to make a YouTube video. So I'm noticing this lesson. It's, it's coming into play right now in my life of take time to make time. You, Luke, are spread too thin. And that is so frustrating for my brain. I can't handle that. I can't handle the idea that you're spread too thin. You can't handle doing everything at 100%. What, what an excuse. What a silly thing to say. Like, it's all resting on you. You're a very capable person. And you can't just like, this hour is YouTube hour. This hour is work on your business. This hour is your job. You know, or eight hours, or whatever. No. No, I can't. I'm running into human limits. Like, I have human limitations. And that is so hard for, it's a, it's a big pill for me to swallow. It's hard for my brain to wrap around. I don't like it. I don't like excuses. I don't, I don't like not giving my 100%. Because one, I know I'm going to have regrets later. I'm going to be laying in bed going, you didn't do enough. Sure. And, and you can extrapolate that, not just that night, but on my deathbed. Oh, God, I wish I had tried harder at the thing. I do not want regret when I'm old. And there's like so many sides to that coin, right? Because you also, you don't want to overwork. And then what do you regret on your deathbed? Not spending enough time with your kids. So that's something to think about. It's kind of outside the scope of the uh, burnout thing. But uh, I wanted to paint those pictures for you a little bit. Maybe you might notice these patterns in your life as well. <laughs> there's too much. And you might force yourself into burnout. And don't force it. Don't force it. I didn't do a video every day this week. I didn't. Were the videos 5,000% awesome? Probably not. I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to put out one or two. And there they are. I'm going to do one or two little upgrades to the website. I'm going to make sure I don't get fired at my job. And I'm going to prioritize my kids and my family and make sure they know that I'm there for them. And we have a, a jolly good time hanging out. And they're taken care of. And... By golly, the dishes are washed at the end of the day. So. <laughs>
<laughs> so I, uh, I hope you're doing well. If you're experiencing anything similar, comment down below. Let me know. Like, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with, with your plate being too full and you're just not handling all the food on it? You know, it's not, hmm, I don't know. Do I need to organize my life better? Do I need more sleep? I don't know. I wonder how you handle it. Take time to make time. All right. Take care of yourselves out there. God bless.